actually I haven't really thought that much about the Olympics yet, um, but of course it's getting closer and closer. So now you're starting to you know get into Olympic mode, if you could say so. Um, and um, this time I come in with even more experience than last time. And I think that's a big advantage to have going into an Olympic Games because it is the biggest sporting event uh, you know in the world. Um, so it's going to be a great experience again, and to play in Olympics on European soil is going to be special. I've been really fortunate to, you know, come up at a time where, you know, so many legendary players and, and, and a great time for, for the world of badminton, I would say, you know, playing against players like Lin Dan, uh, Lee Chong Wei, uh, also Chen Long and, and all the great players. Um, I've been able to, to compete against um, these uh, amazing athletes and that has given me a lot of great experience. And for me to be in a position now where I actually have a realistic chance of doing well in my third Olympics, um, it's something which makes me really proud because that being consistent and being in the top for so many years is definitely not easy. The men's singles right now is in a position where there are actually many players who can do really well at the Olympics and it's really hard to, to pick, you know, f four players who, who, you know, who you would say, oh, they will definitely grab a medal. Um, so for me, I just try to stay focused on, on, my, uh, on my journey uh, towards the Olympics. And then I know that if I'm in top shape, then I have a realistic chance of doing really well. My, my philosophy is that I want to be able to look myself in the mirror after each day and then, you know, being honest and say, you know, with what I had today, I really try to do whatever I can to be 1% better, even just a half percent better than I was uh, yesterday. So just consistency and being really rational and honest with yourself about your own, uh, you know, performance and your own, um, you know, all the work you put in it. And um, that has taken me really far. And I'm really, really proud, not only about my top performances, but being in the top for, for you know, in top 10 for, I think maybe 10 years or something almost is, is a great achievement for me personally. My wife Natalia, our kids, you know, we, this is a really, um, you know, it's teamwork and, and, and uh, they support me in the best possible way. And my wife Natalia makes sure that everything, you know, is, is good with the kids when I'm traveling a lot. And to being able to, to be a role model to them and show that through hard work and dedication and teamwork, you can, you know, you can really excel in what you're doing is, is something which is really important for us to show them. Um, so it's a big privilege for me and it's my biggest motivation is to show my kids that you know, if you put your, your, your mind to it and you work hard and you, you stay true to yourself, then you can really get far. The coach is in tears. Victor Axelsson is in tears. He cannot believe it. He becomes the third man from Denmark in World Championship history to win the gold medal. A record fifth men's singles title for Victor Axelsson beating the record he previously held along with Lee Chong Wei. I don't take anything for granted and I don't expect that I will get anything handed to me at all. So my mindset is simply just to do my best. You can't do anything more and then let's see what happens.